All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to our DEI Programming and Outreach Graduate Student Assistant Job Webinar. Um, this will be about an hour. We will try and not take too much of your time. Um, so let's get started. All right, so a brief overview of what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, we're going to start with some brief introductions, and then I'll talk about the job posting and description. And then our current DEI GSA, Tori, um, will give us insight into her, what she's been doing um, in the role. And then after that will be the Q&A. So with that, I should say, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat but we won't start answering questions until the after the presentation is over. So again, hi everyone. My name is Amber Case. I use they, she pronouns. I am an academic service, I'm an academic services officer as well as the DEIA coordinator for the School of Information Sciences. I am also the supervisor for this role. And I'll let Tori introduce herself. Thanks, Amber. Hi, everybody. I'm Tori Robinson. Uh, so my current role is the DEI Programming and Outreach Graduate Student Assistant, as well as a fellow classmate of everyone here. Uh, this is my last semester, so that's what brings us here. And I'm really excited for you all and whomever gets to take over next. Yes, and we should also congratulate Tori because Tori is graduating. She finished her studies, so she's she's getting out and getting out into the professional library world. And so with that, let's talk about the job. All right, so I know everybody probably first thought is, how much do I get paid for a position like this? Um, we I have a number on this presentation. It's $20,636 per academic year. However, that number fluctuates and changes um, in accordance to the Graduate Student Union. Um, the, I will say the chances that the number is a little higher is probably accurate. Um, it tends to go up a little bit each year, um, but at minimum expect at least $20,000 per academic year while in this position. In terms of tuition, um, your tuition is paid. Uh, you get to uh, the position pays for 10 credits for fall and winter, and then two credits for spring and summer semesters. And then health benefits, if you need the health benefits, those are also available to you. You have a choice of six different medical insurance carriers, as well as um, dental and vision are also available. All right, as I mentioned in the previous slide, this is a union represented uh, position. Um, so that means in addition to support within the School of Information Sciences as a student, as a graduate student working for Wayne State, um, that means that you will be represented by the Graduate Employees Organization Committee. And they're pretty active. They meet about once a month and they have activities planned out throughout the year, both dealing with working at Wayne State, but also social. Um, so if you're interested in getting involved in the union, there is room for that. Um, next, the schedule for this position. So it is, you do need to be local in order to do this position. It is both a virtual and in-person uh, position. You will work 20 hours a week. You will work at least probably two days a week in our office on campus in the Purdy Kresge Library. Um, and additionally, while working, um, we try to work around your school uh, schedule as well as a work schedule if you maybe have an additional job. Um, but sometimes you may be expected to work evenings and weekends. This isn't every week and all the time, but there might be an event or something that's taking place that requires your attendance or you're running the event yourself. All right, so what's involved in the job? What will you actually be doing? So 30% of this job um, is focused on programming and outreach. Um, I will go through the list. I will try and not read all of it. I will let you guys kind of go through it. Uh, this information is also available on our website for viewing. Um, I will put the link 
in the chat uh, after the presentation is done. But uh, to dive into the job, uh, you will uh, create DEI programming for the student body and you, uh, the person in this role would do this uh, once a semester, one event per semester. Um, you would be involved in creating, collaborating, or enacting inclusive recruitment and outreach initiatives. Um, and you would also be tracking this progress in any work dealing with programming and outreach um, and measuring those outcomes. Uh, perform various DEI research when needed. Um, the person in this position will represent the school at various on and off campus DEI events. Um, they will also have the opportunity to build relationships with other educational institutions, as well as throughout the Wayne State campus. And this position also supports the DEIA coordinator, which is me, um, as needed. Next is the recruitment portion of the role. Um, the person in this position will participate in the recruitment of prospective students by attending programs, fairs, open houses that take place both on and off campus to advertise the school. Uh, they will participate in and review development uh, or participate in the development of informational and promotional materials related to student recruitment. Um, they will also participate in the coordination of CIS prospective student information meetings. Some of you might have attended that before joining the program. Um, and now you, if you get to be in this role, um, you will get to see the backside of how that works. Um, and finally, uh, they will maintain contact with prospective students and provide information regarding the school requirements and services. So this is the biggest portion of the position. The next few items won't take as much time, but we'll move forward. All right, there are some administrative duties attached to this position. Um, the person in this role will monitor the Ask Sys or Ask List email account. Um, they will perform reference services for those who visit the office, call or reach out to us online. Um, there may be occasional ad other administrative tasks that come up that might need to be completed, and um, the GSA will also assist the CIS administrative team um, in implementation of special projects and events. All right, here's another portion. Um, the person who is in this role, the GSA, is automatically president of FLID, Future Librarians for Inclusivity and Diversity. Um, at the beginning of their position, they will need to review and revise FLID bylaws. Uh, they are the ones that host general uh, and officer meetings for FLID every month, as well as event planning. Um, and they also represent FLID at various on and off campus events. All right, the final portion of this position is something that um, the GSA will work on throughout their time at the School of Information Sciences in this position, and it's, and it's a new item. This is the professional development and assessment portion. Um, the GSA will complete the professional DEI portfolio and submit it at the end of the last term in the program slash position. Um, and what this looks like essentially is an e-portfolio. It will demonstrate um, professional development, you'll have to do an information interview, you build your own website, um, and you, and basically the what this website is dedicated to all of the work you've done while in this position because I wanted to make sure that the person in this role had a tangible takeaway that you could showcase to your future, hopefully employers, um, and anyone else who might be interested in the kind of work you've done while in this position because we want to celebrate you. Um, and with that, I turn it over Hi, to Hi, everyone. So here is the Tori. Sorry about that. <laughs> you may take it away. Hey, Amber, if you want to go back to the uh, canvas for me. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, it, it'll play. So I did oh, a little script. <laughs> I did a little script just to prepare and we can watch that. Um, it'll just show you as I'm going through my 
day um i went through a like on campus day for you because an at home day may vary but just so you know what it looks like Hi, everyone. So here is the GSA perspective. I have documented a couple of things throughout my journey as the diversity outreach GSA. So to start, here I am walking to the office on campus. The sun is out. It was a really nice day. And I just wanted to capture the moment. So when going into the office, you will need a one card to unlock the door, uh, especially if it's a day that you're in the office solo, which can happen. Um, so be sure to have one or get one if you don't have one. This is your key in. You will be answering phone calls and directing them in the way they should go or taking messages and sending follow-up emails. So just be mindful of having phone etiquette. A primary uh, task in this role is tending to the SIS email. Uh, you will go through, clean it up, uh, send out job postings and internship opportunities, maybe even webinars as you see fit uh, that would be beneficial to your peers in the program. Uh, also participating in different committees, which means meetings. And uh, if you have time, getting some homework done. Another task is maintaining the SIS board that is in the hallway just outside of the office. Now, while our current students are majority online and not on campus, this board is really good for prospective students and inspiring the undergrads. This board has uh, anything that student orgs are doing on it or uh, webinars, different events in the field, internship opportunities, a listing of all of our faculty and staff, as well as what degrees and certificates we offer. Uh, this is also where I keep job postings in a physical form in case someone is, uh, has questions like, what kind of job can I get with this degree? This is the place that I would post that for our uh, undergraduate community. You may also get to attend conferences. Here I am at the MLA conference last fall. Uh, it was really exciting. I got to assist with hosting a booth with academic service officer, Mike, and we got to meet a lot of alums. Uh, it was really fun. We had a wheel, so we got to give out different uh, swag from our school. It was a good time. Hi, everybody. It's Tori, your Diversity GSA, and I've made it to the MLA conference. This is our booth. There's mine. Okay, you can come and spin the wheel. Come see us. Everyone's a winner at the wheel, so it's always a good time to give out the swag. There's something on each panel for everyone, whether it's a notebook, t-shirt, bag, everyone's a winner. Another cool opportunity as the diversity GSA is you get to be president of Future Librarians for Inclusivity and Diversity Student Organization. Uh, here you can see a screenshot. This was taken at our very last meeting uh, this past April, uh, where we hosted a sit and study, basically a body doubling meeting. In this role, you will maintain all the officer positions, uh, ensuring there's a student in each role 
also supporting your team and collaborating and brainstorming on ideas for meetings. Uh, these officers are amazing to work with. They're very invested and their participation is great. Uh, so you will get the honor of being leadership for this team and helping FLID thrive further. All right. I do have one last thing to share with you all. Okay, I just have to share my screen. So I just wanted you all to get a glimpse of the e-portfolio. I just used this website called Wakelet. Um, it was actually something I discovered in another class that a professor wanted us to use as an option to make a e-portfolio. You can edit it how you want. Uh, here, you could just upload all of the things that are required for the DEI uh, GSA portfolio. Uh, this was one of the events that I did on campus where I spoke with prospective students and undergraduates about information professionals. Uh, I did an introductory essay. This event was done during Women's History Month on information profession she roles. Uh, my interview, with my reflection piece, my resume, uh, also a reflective essay. And I do have one more thing in this role that I have to complete and update on here, but I just wanted to share this, uh, wakelet.com. It does have a free uh, like account that you can use if there's something that you want, or you can use anything that you're you know, familiar with and it's easier and building your own website. But I just wanted to give you all a live view of mine just as an idea. And you may need to use it for another course or another project at some point in the future, if you like. All right, thank you, Tori. And that concludes the presentation uh, portion of today's event. I'm going to hit stop recording so that we can start having conversations. Uh, give me one moment. Um, and again, thank you all. Thank you everyone for attending tonight.